Hey y'all, welcome back to Permanent Truth. Welcome to this evening's video. I'm going to give y'all a little bit of a news update on something that happened yesterday uh, around 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This was in North Carolina. So if you're new to this channel, please click that subscribe button down below and be sure to tap the notification bell beside it so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share so more people see what is going on around the world and in this country. But what is going on is in North Carolina, a county may be days without power after a targeted attack. Now, what they're saying has happened is an alleged attack on multiple electrical substations left 60% of North Carolina's Moore County without power over the weekend. And what local and state authorities say is a criminal occurrence. Now, they're saying about 45,000 homes and businesses in Moore County, North Carolina, which is about 70 miles southwest of Raleigh. We're plunged into darkness starting around 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday night. This come from Moore County Sheriff's Office is where the information is. At a press conference on Sunday evening, they stated that the substations had been shot at by gunfire in a targeted attack and that his office was working with the FBI and the State Bureau of Investigation to find the cause of the attack. In response, the county declared a state of emergency and issued a curfew at 9 p.m. and closed county schools on Monday. So, power outages could extend potentially until Thursday, is what the utility company has estimated. This is one reason that we definitely recommend being prepared for anything that could happen as far as power grid going down. This is now 45,000 people that are without power due to a targeted attack. And this is something that very, very possibly, I don't know, what the reason is on why this happened so far they're saying you know all they know is targeted attack with gunfire they're not giving the actual reason on why they believe it happened who done it or anything like that they're just stating that they are investigating so this is something though that we could very possibly start seeing all across the country because if you think about it it's many people that is losing power due to the rising cost and inflation you know, it only takes one angry person to start doing something like this with substations. You know, we've got substations all around us right here that could potentially cause some very devastating, disastrous consequences if targeted attacks like this started happening all over the U.S. Not only with the power system, but with water power, all that kind of stuff that we rely on. You know, we got water tanks sitting everywhere. So water, power... Anything that you're actually relying on inside of your house to keep you going that is currently, you know, on the grid. If something was to happen and it make an interference with that, it could definitely be a situation where you might need to use your SHTF preps to keep you going for a little while. Because they are saying that they could be a few days without power before this gets restored. So, don't know what it is or why it has happened exactly just getting this little bit of information that has come out maybe once they do another news article you know or something because it just happened yesterday evening we can get some more information and know a little bit more about why it was possibly a targeted attack but you know when you start really sitting down and thinking People do crazy stuff when they're upset and they're angry. So if they wanted to get back at the power companies for shutting off their power due to inflation and them not having the money to pay it, you know, this is stuff that could start happening around the country and cause some serious consequences. So I will link this news article down below if you want to read it. There's lots of news articles out there about it that has already come out, but none of it is giving an actual reason why, just information as to what happened. <clears throat> so we will keep an eye on this and I will update you once I know more information on it. So be prepared for power grids down because even if it's something like this, it only lasts for a few days. You never know. It could be at your house next. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. God bless you. Keep prepping.